What is up guys, this is NutraFX. Um, showing you guys a little tutorial today on how to do the scan lines or the line effects on uh, most backgrounds that you see on YouTube today. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I am gonna have a pattern pack at the in the description, so if you guys wanna download that, you can. Uh, but for the people who wanna actually learn how to make a pattern and learn how to do this themselves without actually having the pattern pack, or if they wanna make their logo a pattern, uh, stay tuned for the tutorial. If not, you can just go ahead and download the pattern pack and uh, get on with your way. Um, so just go ahead and click new, and uh, for this, you wanna go ahead and put it uh, as six and six. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys some um, some of the ones that I that are known. Some of the ones that I do, um, and you just want to zoom in all the way. And uh, I'm gonna do the scan lines first. So the ones that go across. So what you want to do is you want to make a new layer and you want to hide the background layer. And I know it's white because it's only six pixels. Um, so what you want to do is it kind of locks on place. You just want to get uh, the rectangular marquee tool and you want to um, drag it off the bottom and you want to fill with black click OK and you want to do the same with the next one up it'll lock on there should be a space and click fill black go to the next one right click and fill and black and then control D to deselect and there you go you should have your scan lines uh, so then you go to edit and then you go to define pattern and you can just name it scan lines and then save it and so when you open up a background let's see a background like this one and as you guys can see I have uh, Windows 7 and my computer is a lot faster now than it was before so then when you open this up um, how to put them on I have scan lines already on and I'll show you the pack if you want to download it uh, you just click on the backdrop you click pattern overlay and then you click on patterns and here's the one that I made it's called scan lines and then when you look at it uh, when you zoom in and you click actual pixels you have the scan lines um, in the pattern pack that I'm putting in the link description um, there's a lot of them there's uh, the ones that go sideways and I'll teach you how to do that too um, the one that I know how to do anyway they go from big to small or whatever those aren't in there um, and for these like you turn down the opacity or whatever and they look good anyway let's go on with the second one um, if you want you can like if you're making a bunch of them you can just delete it um, anyways you can go ahead and create a new layer and then you go to uh, where the brushes are and you go to the pencil tool and you for the ones that go diagonal you click once here click once here click once here click once here there and then the final one there make sure the background layer is hidden go to edit um, or to define pattern then you can name this one whatever you want uh, save it go back to your background open up your pattern overlay and then go down to that one and then you can make it bigger or smaller um, I suggest leaving it at a hundred for scale and if you want you can turn down the opacity or whatever um, and if you add a color overlay it'll go away so I suggest putting it on either uh, not soft light but overlay or um, 
linear burn if you want it darker. And then I'll show you one with like a logo. Um, you don't want to do it with six pixels uh, by six pixels. You want it actually a lot larger. So go to new and change it to about 250. Uh, do it to about 100, uh, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And uh, don't quote me on it, but I think that should be good enough. And uh, I'm gonna put my logo in here. Uh, and my background. It's pretty nice. Anyways, put that in Photoshop. And yeah, this looks a little pixelated right now, but it should be good. Hide the background layer. Click Edit. Define pattern, and name it logo. Click OK. And then when you go to your pattern overlay, it should be right here. And then you can scale it, make it smaller or whatever. I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. And then if you wanted, you can like change the, the opacity down or whatever. Um, and I guess that would look okay. Um, other than that, that's it for this tutorial. And like I said, I'll put the pattern pack um, in the description if you guys want to download that. Um, and if you want a tutorial, just suggest one and put it in either send it to me in a message or put it in the comment uh, section. And other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, see you later.